everybody. My name is Austin Parker. I'm an open source software engineer here at Lightstep, and today I want to tell you about an exciting new feature we're launching called Developer Mode. So what is Developer Mode? Developer Mode was really created to solve kind of a couple different problems that I personally saw a lot talking to customers that were just starting to trace. Now, there's sort of this, this core concept of, I want to understand what's going on in my services, right? And that's what leads people toward tracing in the first place, right? You've tried aggregate metrics and they're, they're just too high level. You've grepped through logs for hours and it's too frustrating. You want to be able to visualize and understand what's going on in your service at a very request oriented way. Something that sort of maps to how stuff moves through data and requests move through all of your different services, right? So you hear about distributed tracing, you say, all right, I'm going to start Googling for this. I'm going to, you know, maybe you saw a talk or read a blog post or something, right? So you start Googling, how do I distribute a trace? And there's a lot of information out there and you start looking into open tracing and you start reading even more and then you look at quick starts and examples and guides and there's a lot of terminology coming at you very fast. There's a lot of stuff you have to set up, even at its easiest. And there's just all these different things, right? There's collectors and there's sampling and there's spans and there's logs and tags and da 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 And I haven't even talked about inject and extract yet. This is you. This was me, certainly. I think what we're missing is when you start trying new technology, what you really want is you want to be this guy, right? You want to be, uh, this is your expectation that you're going to go knock out some distributed tracing and do cool skateboard tricks. And the reality often looks like this, that, well, the skateboard's there, but you're not, and I don't know what's happening. Developer mode seeks to solve this problem when you're starting out. What if you could instrument your services and get real-time feedback on what's going on. What if you could see everything f without having to deploy? Developer mode is going to cover you there. So the first thing you'll want to do to get started with Lightstep developer mode is sign up for a Lightstep tracing account if you don't already have one, or if you are a existing Lightstep customer, you can log in. You can see um, how to actually get signed up for Lightstep Tracing in this here. You'll enter some information, you'll get an email, and then click that, set a password, and sign in. Now, once you've signed in, this is what you'll see. You'll see a new project with nothing in it. What we're interested in, though, is down here, this developer mode uh, icon. When I click on developer mode, this is what I see. It says I'm not running, and it gives me this big old blob of text here. So we're going to start our satellite up now. We'll copy this to the clipboard. And we'll run it. The Lightstep developer satellite runs in the background, and you can leave it going uh, as long as you want. It doesn't take a lot of resources. So once it runs, you'll notice back here that our indication has changed that developer mode is now running and you need to configure a tracer. Today let's work, let's assume that you're using Golang, but we offer quick start guides for a variety of languages, uh, basically anything that is supported by open tracing. Let's go into our Golang setup tutorial. So it's actually fairly straightforward to start a span or start sending spans to developer mode. I've already gone through the trouble of writing all this code out. You can see it here. But all you have to do is set up your tracer, register it as a global tracer for convenience, <clears throat> and then start a span, put some information on it, finish it, and then close the tracer. So let's go back and see how that actually looks. I'm going to run my application that I just saw back there, and then back in developer mode. <clears throat> and now you can see, here is the span that I created in that application, and it's over 
uh, in lights up developer mode. I can see all sorts of information. A lot of the stuff is that is just collected by the tracer itself. So you can see you know, what version of the tracer you're using. You can see the command line that was used to run it. You can see tags and logs. This is maybe a little you know, simple, but that's how easy it is to start using license step tracing with developer mode. You simply sign up, log in, go to developer mode, follow one of our easy quick start guides, and you will be viewing spans and traces in Lightstep in a matter of minutes. Now, I figured y'all wouldn't be happy just looking at that. So let's look at something a little more complicated to really kind of show off what you can do here. Um, keep in mind this feature is in beta and we're hoping to add several improvements to it over the coming weeks and months. And part of that is going to be seeing what people want out of it. So I wrote a slightly more complicated uh, application over here. Now what this does is this actually just fetches a uh, some mock data from a endpoint and does it in a loop. But what we're really shooting for is to kind of show an actual trace that consists of multiple functions, you know, multiple things going together. So if I go back in here, you can see I cleared off all my spans using the clear button. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to my next application. So as I run this, this will take a little longer to execute, but what you should see <clears throat> coming in soon is a bunch of spans. Now you can notice some interesting stuff going on here. So one, we've got the ability to see structured data actually in our spans, which is pretty neat. The other thing is I've got some uh, right here, this error equals true. So if I actually click view trace, then instead of just seeing a list of spans, you can actually move over here into the light step trace view and look at a trace that's joined together. Now again, this isn't the most interesting uh, trace because there's only two things that happened, but you can see, visualize here that one, since this was an error, uh, there was no user found, then I have set an error tag on this top level span and the UI updates like so to sort of indicate that. I can also see a log here that explains why, you know, why was it an error? Well, the user ID wasn't found. So that's how easy it is to get started with developer mode in light step tracing. Again, if you're already a light step tracing or light step XPM customer, this feature is available for you today. You'll just want to look for the developer mode icon in your light step uh, user interface and click on it and get started. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter personally. I'm at Austin L. Parker. Um, you can also tweet at us at LightStepHQ. You can find us on YouTube. Well, that's where you are. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Uh, thanks for watching.